One of my favorite video game series is easily Wipeout. It is an incredible arcade racer with a sense of speed that you just don't get in any other game. Sadly, this awesome series is not available for iOS or Android, so we've had to use alternative games which up until this point have all been pretty bad. Now, while I was browsing the deep depths of the App Store, I found a new game that has not only almost no reviews, but according to Game Center, only 868 downloads, which is weird considering that this game is freaking amazing. So without further ado, I present to you what I believe to be the best racer on iOS. Impulse GP is currently available for iOS at the price point of $2.99. Now, though spacecraft-like cars are not used from the Wipeout series, spacecraft-like motorcycles have taken their place. It is set up like a typical racing game where you progress through different tracks, uh, you earn virtual money, which can then purchase newer, faster bikes, and you can place on the worldwide leaderboards through Game Center. Now, there are three main game modes to be aware of. There are lap races, which also act as qualifying rounds on each track before you can even race. There are drag races, which are not super exciting, but they're pretty fun and can help you earn cash for better bikes. And last, racing, the main attraction. This is where you can go up against 15 opponents. Now, gameplay is similar to Wipeout. There is no throttle, and seldom do you ever use the brakes. Instead, the game implements two types of boost, which are crucial to any in-game success. There is a standard boost, which is acquired when you drive over the blue pads that are scattered all over the track, and they give you a temporary acceleration. These boosts can be triggered by hitting a boost button, but the game also implements impulse boost, and this makes the game just a blast. It's significantly more challenging than other games out there, and it's more fun. Now, when you start driving over these long green strips, you press the impulse button, and before reaching the end of the strip, you let go to activate the boost that you've acquired. Now, the challenge is getting the indicator to 100% boost without holding too long and losing everything. So it's a tricky game of timing, control, and speed that I just love, and something you can't find anywhere else. Now, performance is remarkable. On my iPhone 6 Plus, the game loads faster than almost any other game I have, and the graphics, though not jaw-droppingly good, are really, really nice. The exciting thing is that the game maintains a constant 60 frames a second, which gives the game a serious sense of speed that other iPhone racers have not yet offered. Your racer's steering can be controlled three different ways. There is a button mode and a slider touch mode, which are very similar, and they offer excellent response times. They're actually my preferred method of navigating throughout the game, but there's also an accelerometer-based control system, which actually does a really good job if that's what you prefer. The AI you play against is frustratingly good. I am used to blowing pretty much everyone out of the water on games like these, but after four to five hours of playing, I've only gotten first place once, and that was on a nearly perfect round with 98% accuracy. Now, most of the time, I finish anywhere from third to eighth place, which can be frustrating because you have to place in the top three to unlock the next track. Now, once you finish the quick race mode, which is no easy task, you move on to pro race mode. You race on the same tracks, but you have faster bikes, much higher speeds, and near impossibly challenging opponents. There are only seven different tracks at this point in time, but the developers have said in the app description that there are more soon on the way. Even today though, at $2.99, I think it's an incredible value. There are no in-app purchases bombarding you to buy new vehicles or tracks, which is a nice change from the seemingly annoying games we see these days. And so, you are on your own to unlock new bikes and new tracks by actually playing the game well. I've spent several hours playing this game and I'm not even finished with it yet. Uh, once I'm done, I plan to go back with the better bikes that I've purchased and to place first in races that I had originally only placed second or third in. So because of that, the replay value on this game is actually rather high. I really enjoy the gameplay, controls are fantastic, the sense of speed is remarkable, and the game performance will blow your mind. I'm just really stumped as to why this isn't in the top 10 most paid on the App Store, or even you know in the top 150, because it should be there, and it's one of my favorite iOS games to date, ever. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, we'd appreciate a like as it helps us be discovered in the YouTube search. But if you thought this video was crap, then a thumbs down will do. If you'd like to support our channel, you can shop through our Amazon affiliate link, snazzyzon.com. You pay the same price, but we get a small kickback for sending you there. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy.